Hey what's up, Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up an image that allows you to scroll in like this, pan around, and then scroll back out. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get started. I'm going to clear out the scene, go to a new scene, and we'll create a canvas first. So go to Game Object, UI, Canvas. Under there, you just create an empty game object. And then under this empty game object, we need to create a sprite or an image. So there we go, we select an image. Now I have a nice high definition image that I'm going to assign here. It's already set to sprite and the size is 20, or what is it? 5120 by 3200. So it's a nice giant image. So I'm going to assign this to our image and I'm going to set the size to match. So 5120 by 3200. So right now it's a little bit huge. Not a problem though. I'm going to select the game object here and I'm at a scroll rest, uh, scroll rect and a mask the Rect Mask 2D. So now you see we have a nice little image. I'm gonna switch over to the scene view and resize it and just hit, uh, what is it, T to get into the sizing tool and give it a size that looks good. Let me put the game view up side by side. So here we go, that's gonna be the game view. I'm gonna shrink this down just a bit so that it fits into our screen right about there. And I'm gonna flip the camera skybox mode off and just go with a solid kind of darker gray something like that so imagine this is in a picture frame in your whole UI now the last thing I need to do here is adjust the image size so that it fits so I switch over to the scale tool with R and just scale it down so that the image kind of fits just about in there I'm not gonna go perfect this time but that's pretty close so the image fits in in a zoomed out mode and you can see the scale is 0.076 and that's good. Now I just need to add a script. So I've got a single script in here called UI Zoom Image. And I'm going to add this to the image. And the last thing I need to do is on this game object, I need to assign the content here. So I'll assign the image as the content. Press play and it should work. And once we do this, I'll show you the code. So here we go. I can zoom in. I can drag around. Everything works great. And I can zoom back out. And if I turn off the rec mask, you can see what, what it's actually doing. It's zooming this whole image and making it larger, and then the scroll around just works. It's just that with the mask on, we only see it in this tiny little window here, like we wanna see. All right, let's take a quick look at the code. So open up the UI zoom image script. We'll start at the top and look at the iScroll handler interface. This is the most important part. Having this here makes the Unity system call our on scroll method whenever the user has selected the image and uses the scroll wheel and what we get here is an event data object and the part we care about is the scroll delta's y value this is going to be positive or negative one depending on how they scrolled and then we multiply that by the zoom speed and then here we're just figuring out a vector delta based off of the scroll and the zoom speed the zoom speed is editable in the inspector then we figure out a local scale, a desired local scale, by taking the current local scale and adding on the delta. So this will be positive or negative, depending on if we're zooming in or out. Then we just call a little method to clamp it so that we can't go below the initial size and we can't go beyond a maximum size. So it's just specified by a max zoom value. And then we just set the local scale of the transform and we're done. So that's everything that we need for scaling. The panning around is already handled by the uh, scroll rect right here. So it all just kind of works nice and easy. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and hit subscribe. If you have questions, just drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.